In construction, because each project's unique and different, um, you try to find the most risk-averse approach to each project. So building it, stick building on site, is the, is the least risky way to do it because you can figure in the field, figure stuff out in the field. And, you know, when you, uh, you, you have very smart, experienced uh, superintendents, they're going to find a way to build it. You know, even if it might cause a delay to the project, it gets built. Um, so, you know, for us, we, you know, manufacturing best practices have been kind of using prefabrication and, and 3D modeling, 4D modeling technologies for a long time. It's much easier when you're making 100,000 of the same part. <laughs> so a lot more difficult when you're building one-offs all over the place. However, that being said, we do believe, and we have some data to prove it now, is that you can leverage a lot of those best practices and, uh, and build automation and tools into the software that will help you be much more efficient and reduce risk on site and cost of labor, you know, or general costs all, all around the board uh, to build better products and, and more efficiently. What we're trying to do is kind of scale it to the masses, right? Because, you know, there's been a lot of investment and to be honest, a lot of best practices being used at the top end of the market where, you know, very large projects, hospitals and things are complex and some of the, the big players are very, you know, experienced in this world. What we see the gap is there's like, you know, the rest, you know, the kind of 90% um, of the market still yet have invested in technology. Um, you know, there's reasons for that, but we want to serve that, that market. We want to go to uh, kind of just below the biggest and then down and help scale it a, a, across the, that market. So we're trying to work on, um, you know, projects have complexity, obviously, um, and the benefits there are to, you know, identify risks uh, in advance of live, con live construction and try to sell back time to the project. Really, there's changes in change orders, that's an issue, but really it's all about time. It's about time on site, delays on site, rework drawings, and opportunity cost of the capital for owners to close off projects sooner and get a cash flow, you know, going back in the right direction. It's definitely um, uh, kind of a, a wide landscape of uh, willingness to adopt technology. Um, but the truth is the smartest people in the room, in our opinion, are the construction site superintendents that sometimes, you're right, don't even have email or no, that's a bit much, but don't use computers often. But if you can leverage that knowledge, they've forgotten more than we've ever known about construction, but give a practical and usable tool for that individual to be much more efficient and to look three and four months ahead as opposed to three or four days ahead because you're constantly solving problems. Um, it can be a very good fit. Now, it's always difficult to sell that individual on on the value proposition, um, but typically the harder they are on you, the better they are. And the, once you can win them over, we, we have a lot of great relationships with superintendents that call us three, four times a week and we're working very closely with them uh, to try to make, you know, make things go smoother on site. We've done 26 projects in the last uh, just you know, just shy of a year and a half, just 1.3 billion in construction value. Uh, one of the highlights for us right now has been the UBC Aquatic Center. It's one of uh, just interesting because it's a very complicated project, not necessarily overly large, 40 million dollar project, very very complex. Hospitals and pools are probably some of the most complex projects we see in kind of the AEC space, architecture, energy, and construction. That's been a pretty successful project for us. Very collaborative, worked with the team. Uh, for a number of months right up that right out the gate to, to identify areas where we needed some more thought and try to you know fix problems before they you know manifest themselves uh, in the site and if you know we, we check in every week and things are going you know pretty well out there so considering a very complicated project and a tight schedule and a tight budget um, overall it's it's been a pretty good success for everyone involved you know, we're still halfway through we got a ways to go but um, we're happy with that and we are using some prefabrication and mechanical systems to try to take even more time off off the schedule and not you know tie up the crane the site logistics are better um, you know layouts are, are more efficient you know, and being able to do the same amount of work with less people making people more profitable so that's been a good good project for us